Hello children, today we are going to solve exercise 7.1, question number 5. Find the value of the variable by systematic method. Let's start solving this. Systematic method, how to solve? Plus 12, the other side it is 20. In the systematic method, here plus 12, we have to find out the value of x or whatever is at this side. As much as possible, we have to remove the numbers, everything from this side. So for removing that, here plus 12, we will try to remove this. Plus 12, if we have to remove this plus 12, then put minus 12. Then plus and minus is minus. 12 minus 12 is 0. So we have uh, subtracted 12 at this side. Same number should be subtracted at the other side. So this is systematic method, minus 12, minus 12, same number. We need to balance both the sides. 2x equal to 12 minus 12 is 0. This side it is 20 minus 12 is 8. And then we have to find out the value of x here. in But in front of the x there is 2. If we have to remove these two, you divide with the same number so that it can be cancelled with that. So here this side, we divide this by two, same number we have to take at the other side and it should be divided by two. So then two, two is cancelled, x is left, two you can cancel to four, two, four are eight, the answer will be four. Here we finish solving question number five A, let me solve question number five C solution write the equation here here also again we have to find out the value of x plus 16 is at here at first we need to remove this plus 16 if we have to remove this plus 16 you put minus 16 so that it can be cancelled then uh, we have taken, we have this side, 16 is subtracted, then at the other side also we need to take 16 minus 16, 2x by 3, 16 minus 16 is 0, 30 minus 16 is 14, implies, then now we have to remove 3, at first, we have to remove this 3. If we have to remove this 3, if any number is added down, how to remove that? 2x by 3, sorry, it should be x. 2x by 3 equal to 14. If we have to remove this 3, then you multiply with 3 so that it can be cancelled with this. We are multiplying 3 at this side. Same number should be multiplied at the other side. 3 into 3 into. Then 3, 3 is cancelled, 2x is left, this side, 14 into 3 is how much, 42, 3, 4 are 12, 1 in hand, 3, 1, 3, 4, now we have to remove these two, then you divide with the same number, so that it can be cancelled with this, so this side it is divided by 2, and this side also it should be divided by 2 then 2 2 is cancelled x is left 42 divided by 2 is how much 21 so x value is 21 let me solve one more question here transposition method we are going to solve solution write the equation at first In the transposition method, what we have to do is the constants which, which is with the variables, we need to take that one. We need to take out that one from one side to the other side. We need to take that one from one side to the other side. Let's try out 3x by 6. This minus 8 we will take to the other side because this is a constant. So we will take off to the other side. 
15 this minus 8 when we take this at the other side what it will become it will change its symbol minus will become plus 8 3x by 6 15 plus 8 is how much 23 so whatever we are doing now it is transposition method we cannot apply uh, the systematic method at here so now we have to remove this 6 at first if we have to remove this 6 at first uh, what we have to do cross multiplications we are going to do right now this side there is numerator and denominator this side only uh, this 23 we have to consider this one as numerator and we know that there is 1 as a denominator cross multiplication like this 3x into 1 this one will multiply with this 3x into 1 is 3x and this one will multiply with this that is called cross multiplication into 23 3x 6 into 23 is how much 138 now we will find out the value of x 138 whatever is with the variables when we take that one at the other side we have to write it down then you can sell it 3 4 are 12 18 3 6 are 18 x equal to 46 okay here we finish solving whatever i solve today you copy down in your class bar notebook and your homework will be you get a textbook Question number 5B, question number 5B and question number 6A and B. Question number 5B and question number 6A and B. These three questions you solve it by yourself in your homework notebook.